Hello, and welcome to Pain Solutions with Wes. I'm Wes, and my mission is to help you find solutions to your pain through a natural and holistic approach. So I'm sorry that you're dealing with pain. I don't know how long you've had it or what your circumstances are, but I've been in pain before, and I know the frustrations. Uh, you get caught up in the healthcare loop, seeing a bunch of doctors, you don't know what to do, you don't know if the pain's gonna get better, and it really does affect your whole life. But there is hope, and you can feel better, and that's why I created this page to give you solutions to make your pain feel better through exercises, through stretches, through self-massage, and even through mental techniques to keep you optimistic and inspired through the process. And I'm going to break it down into small steps that are easy to follow. And make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to share with you some powerful approaches that you can apply to solving any pain problem. But first, I'm going to share my story with you. I was actually probably 16, 17. I had really bad sciatica um, and you know, it, it would flare up at random times and it was really scary. You know, I, here I am 17 years old with sciatica shooting down my leg. You know, I'm like, golly, I feel like an old man. I can't even bend down to get something off the ground. You know, I go to the grocery store to, you know, get some fish and I reach for the fish and oh, my back, you know, I just felt like an old man. And I said, well, how am I going to feel like when I'm 40 years old? It was just really a fearful thing uh, to, to think about. So that's when I started learning a lot more about, you know, anatomy and stretching and um, doing whatever I could to get, you know, rid of my, my back pain. So through persistence, through trying new things, seeking solutions, I did get rid of my pain, thankfully. And that's what inspired me to start working with other people uh, to solve uh, various pain problems. And uh, people have gotten results from it. Uh, they feel great. They say they feel like they had a body rebirth. They can move better. They have more strength. They can do um, the things that they like to do and they feel younger. So it's great. So I'm going to tell you the honest truth about pain and not a lot of people will tell you this because it's not good for marketing. Um, everyone wants, you know, fast and easy. Uh, but through my experience with working with people with pain is that pain is different for everybody. Sometimes it may be fast and easy for somebody and they'll uh, recover from whatever they're experiencing in as little as a couple of days or a week. Uh, but other times it'll take months um, or years or if the, uh, if the injury or uh, the de degeneration is severe enough, uh, they could always experience some symptoms of pain. And this is not for you to say, oh my gosh, I knew it. I have pain, I'm never gonna get rid of it. I should just give up. This is not for that, no. Um, there is a high possibility that you will be get out of pain. But I believe that all pain can be improved to an extent that someone can live a fulfilling, enjoyable life. There's always hope, and it's sad that a lot of people forget that. But you're not gonna forget that. You're going to be optimistic about what you're experiencing. You're going to search for solutions. You're gonna find the things that work, and you're gonna live the life that you want. And right now, you can make your pain feel better and start your journey to a better life uh, through these three approaches I'm about to share with you. So the first thing you do when approaching a pain problem is you find what is the root that exacerbates your symptoms. So um, what makes your pain worse? What makes it better? So for example, I'm sitting at a desk and um, about you know three or four hours after sitting, my neck and top of my shoulder starts to hurt. I ask myself, why is my neck and my shoulder hurting? Well, maybe it's because I've been sitting for four hours. Maybe it's because I have a hunchback posture. So you gotta think about these things in your mind. You gotta think, how can I improve? Maybe I'll sit up straighter. 
Maybe every hour I'll get up and move a little bit, walk around, stretch. Uh, so you apply those things and see if they yield some improvements. And always remember to work on being optimistic. I know that it can be hard sometimes, but it doesn't help not to be optimistic. It only helps to be optimistic in my experience. Second thing is make sure you're living a healthy lifestyle and that it's permanent. I'm not talking about the uh, 90 day weight loss nutrition challenge, right? You're not just not gonna live healthy for 90 days and then you know eat wherever you want again. That's just gonna lead you yo-yoing. You gotta make a permanent healthy lifestyle change. And it doesn't have to be, you know, a total change like you know, you're going vegetarian and you know you're working out one or two hours a day. What I'm talking about are small changes and putting effort towards your health. There's uh, very few people who actually really think about their health and put effort towards it. If you put effort towards your health and you make small changes like stretching for a minute during the day, maybe adding some vegetables to a meal, you will see the improvements. Make sure that it's something that you're not overwhelmed doing. It's something that you can stick to because remember, this is a permanent change and temporary changes are useless because it bounces you back to right where you were before. It's a story of um, obesity in America. There's more gyms, there's more fitness, fitness facilities than there ever was. More opportunities for people to be active, but yet the obesity rate in America grows because of this yo-yo effect, in my opinion. Third approach is getting support, okay? And you definitely need to just subscribe to the channel right now and click on the bell because that's going to be your source of support. When you click on the bell, you'll get notifications of new videos. That's going to keep you going, watching new content. But along with that, um, getting a friend, you know, who's in the same situation uh, or a similar situation uh, to work with, to uh, you, you guys can... Uh, live, you know, a, a healthier life together. You guys can inspire each other. Uh, also getting a coach too, you know, a coach like me will teach you on how to live a healthy lifestyle, what to eat, what stretches to do, what you actually need. Um, that way you have your toolkit and it also uh, gives you an extra sense of accountability also. So apply those three things and you will see some positive changes. And remember that I'm here for you. Um, feel free to message me or comment below with a statement or a question. Um, I'd be happy to chat with you and um, help you provide solutions to any of the problems you're experiencing. Also, if you have suggestions for what you want for content in the future, you can post that down below too. But I'm here for you and I'll see you uh, in future videos.